Cause that's how we need it You can't fool me You piece of shit Welcome back Greetings and um, welcome back to some more Secret of the Evermo Today I don't know what the fuck We're gonna head down here uh, Shit I didn't think anything I just started recording and here we are But um, today we're gonna go to Strongheart's uh, little hut Which is over here And he has something that he can give us or that we can steal. Either way, I'm fine. Still want to. Nah, here. Sweet, either though. I want the dog to kill. Just like that. And in this little pot, we get our third equipment, which is the shell hat. So, we haven't bought a single armor. We all only we have only found them. And um, see, that's why I don't really buy the armors. Instead, uh, instead, I only buy the dog's or eh, his uh, color because I don't think you can find that color. And here is uh, Strongheart. Hello, Crimps. I'm back in business after that terrible experience in the bug muck. Thanks to you, I'm not the big bug's dinner. Please take this cure formula. It will cure you from poison and other ills. The formula requires two parts root and one part oil. Yes, it dispels states. Would you like to purchase some ingredients? I really do, because this guy sells roots. Even though it's quite expensive, we will need them. Oil, uh... Nah, it's basically just water and root that I want from this guy, so... Uh, sure, let's see. And then I want the dog to talk to him. Hello, big dog. I don't normally talk to animals, but you seem to be an understanding beast. Fuck you! Okay, I can't attack in here. Your leather collar will help shield you from mean creatures. Oh wait a second, I think you can get the leather collar from this guy. Ugh, so I wasted 250 talents. Well, I'm not 100% sure, but I'm quite sure that you can get the collar from him. Fuck this mosquito. Yeah, it's not every game you can kill huge mosquitoes with claw axe. So that's why this game is uh, just superb. Uh, today is actually... Wow, we're missing so much right now. <laughs> Get over here! <laughs> there. It's uh, June 15th. And uh, this is... Um, I think it's the first time I've ever done a session three days in a row. So that's quite interesting because I've done commentary for like five and a half years. And only now I've done a session if, um, for three days straight. No, wait a minute! Uh, the very first series I did, uh, Castlevania 64, back in November 21st, 2009, I did that stupid shit of recording a video every day and going through the whole editing process and uploading info and description, all that shit every day instead of recording a session. Uh, okay, so I have done that before, but that was like recording parts, but this is a session where I record multiple parts Now this guy, see, everybody has green hair You saved Strongheart to the Bugmark. Well done, nice save I can help you defend yourself in future battles with an old recipe This is the alchemy form of defend Use it with one part clay and one part ash to increase your defensive abilities yeah, that brings up the fence. You see, now we're just ranking in all the spells and the abilities. And uh, let's see. Did you find this hidden area with your tracking skills? You're good. No, actually, I didn't. I did not. So in this... Um, now we're just gonna head up. Get this shit. What, didn't we get that before? Haven't we been here? Doesn't seem like that. There are some items. There we are. So now we can head up north. And we can continue because we have the X and we can go past. And now we're meeting these new type of flowers, which are called cornyflower. And they are more dangerous. They have 30 health, which is uh, so spooky. But not only that, they will eat you, as I will show here. If you get hit, they will. my dog will be the test object, or maybe myself. And I dodged him. <laughs> so now when I want to show it... I can't get hit. <laughs> Come on, man. Eat me. <laughs> what the fuck? It's like the rule of everything stupid or whatever it's called. 
Like, every single time I try to run past them, they always eat me. But now, there we go. So he will eat you, do a lot of damage, and just keep on biting you, like, doing damage sequentially. But uh, it's the same mechanic on how they attack, you know, uh, it's just um, in a plus formation and they need to recharge, so they're quite easy. And the dog will get hit. No, he didn't. We can head into this cave. What can we find? More green hair dudes. I buy and sell the finest armor in the area. What can I do for you? Maybe sell me the best armor in the area. So this is the tier two of the armors in this game. The first one was the grass vest and all that. So now we can buy, we all already had two parts of this tier two, uh, but we can buy the shield, shell plate, but there is absolutely no point because you can find it very soon. We got some roots and that's about it. Do you have anything to say to my dog? Hello, big dog, you're much nicer than you look. Let me sniff your pants, okay. Uh, yeah, so I do hope <laughs> that our dog will get eaten. I do hope that uh, you're all having a fantastic day. I, I'm i still not sure. I've, I'm still lost and uh, feeling very bad. And if you're wondering why, then just watch the first episode. Uh, because I explained it there, and I don't want to explain it, um, you know, for every single session, but uh, It's still very hard, and we're here in the mammoth graveyard It's so spooky, how am I supposed to cope? Those spiders everywhere! What's the name? Widowmaker That's a very interesting name, instead of just calling them spiders They actually call them Widowmakers And they are the first enemy that can poison you and eh, reaches level 8 How nice for him now, I'm not sure how much health these enemies have. The further I get into the game, the less I know about the health. Why, I don't really know. My only guess is that... Uh... Shit. My only guess is that um, I replayed the game a lot, but didn't finish it a lot. Like, more than half of the times I wouldn't finish the game. I just played it from the beginning to a certain part, and then I quit. So that's why I know these first enemies more than the later ones. Now this can't be dangerous at all, right? Look at him. You're trespassing on Boneland! Prepare to join the mammoths! Damn, you don't have to scream, dude. And holy shit, look at this. We have so many vipers. Yes, these are the vipers that they talked about. They are quite dangerous. They have 80 health about. They do a lot of damage and they have defense. They are... They are tough to handle and I hate them. But the axe has a long range, so usually you can attack them before they attack you. And they also attack diagonally, they cannot attack like you can in a plus formation. So see, it seems like the enemies can only have three types of attack. They can only do it diagonally, in a plus formation, or um, inside of you. Some enemies will go just like into you and then attack. So they don't have any range, they just go into you and then attack. Like headbutt you, like a body slam from Pokemon. And our dog died! What the fuck, man? Now, what's interesting about this uh, boss event is that if you stay over here, they can't get over here. It's outside of their range. So if you ever have if you ever have trouble with this boss fight, just go over here and they can't do shit. Nothing can. So we can actually just um, go ahead and throw some balls. And you can actually cast them multiple times. Just like that. Then Horrible is now level 1. So now we will do like 10 damage instead. Yeah, 9 damage instead of 6. So this is the easiest way, kind of. Just stay over here and do this. Nothing bad will happen. Now, there is a very big glitch that um, many people know about. But I found out about this glitch myself as a child without uh, the help of internet. Because there was no internet. So what you do is that instead of just casting two times like this, you can actually cast about 10 times at once in one quick session. And the way you do this, I'm going to show on the next guy that comes. So we're just going to keep on doing this and level up the hardball. There, they're dead. 
Now there's the Viper dude. He will come down here and try to attack us. He has about 200 health. Quite dangerous. But here's a trick. You select your dog. You press X so you bring up the other character's menu, which is the main character. And then you press the spell. And then you press B to cast a spell. But then you press X again to bring up the menu as quickly as possible. Like that. And so you can cast again. And again. And again. And just keep on doing it. You can do it about eight times. Okay, like six. And this is the effect. A lot of fucking damage. As one cast, kind of. You still use, you know, many ingredients and you cast the so many, but you do it in one quick session instead of going around and casting it all the time. And we got the horn spit! So that was an easy boss fight. And that's it for this episode. See you next time, good folks.